Hi guys, Knife Detector here, and I hope y'all are doing well. Hope y'all are enjoying this weekend to the fullest, and I have a nice one for you today. Hey, in 1991, I believe that was the year Camillus came out with this style of knife. It is an equal end knife, what they call an equal end knife or cigar type of knife, and it is a series called Riders of the Silver Screen, and it's a pretty cool knife. Check it out. You have some awesome characters from the 30s, 40s, and 50s here. You have the Lone Ranger. You have Red Rider. You have Gene Autry. Hopalong Cassidy, I believe I see. And you have uh, Zorro as well. Now, when I was a kid, my dad and I used to watch cowboy movies. Old cowboy movies, right? And I would watch Zorro with him, and we would watch the Lone Ranger. Now, my dad is a huge Gene Autry fan, right? So... I had been looking for these knives for a while and I thought to myself, self, you know, I want to get one of these for me. Uh, but the thing is, is they were always out of my price range, right? They were always just a little bit too expensive at the time and the condition wasn't that great. And I thought to myself, self, I'll just wait a little while. Well, guess what happened? In around 2010, 2011, I don't remember when it was, I think, Rough Rider came out with another version. Riders of the Silver Screen. And that's not this one. This is a Camillus. But in a future video, we're going to do a comparison of the Camillus Riders of the Silver Screen Equal End Cigar Knife and versus the Rough Rider Equal End Riders of the Silver Screen Cigar Knife. Now, in the Camillus version, we have 11 characters that show up. And the scales are a really nice acrylic type of scale. And we have brass liners. And let's check out the blades. This is a muskrat style knife. It's got two blades. See, that's one. Let's close that. Nice snap. We have this blade right here. Now, I bought this off of eBay. And it did, didn't make any mention when I bought it. And it didn't show it in the picture that it had this X strike through the Camillus. Usually when a company does that, that means that this is a factory second. That for some reason, this was not quite up to par. I don't really know why they did it that way uh, or why they struck that X on there because this looks like a really good knife. Whoever had this before me, uh, there you heard the snap there, did not really use it much. And this is a Dale Evans knife. And for this series, uh, they made a knife for every character that you see in the back. And then they went ahead and they had all of these characters together behind every knife. That way, the person that bought any knife could have a knife with all of these characters on there. So, I went ahead and at the time, you know, I didn't spend money on buying this Camillus because they were running around $100. Uh, so I bought my dad uh, a Rough Rider version of the Riders of the Silver Screen. And I'm going to make a future video comparing the two because I bought myself one as well. But then I saw this guy on eBay and I thought to myself, self, this guy's 25 bucks. If nobody else bids on it, I'm going to take it. And I won it for 25 bucks. And... um there you see there's some patina on the brass happening right there. And I want it. I was very happy to have it. I do like that acrylic. There's not any cracks in this knife. Nothing visible. The spacing is really nice. Camillus did a really nice job with this knife. This knife's made in the USA. This is uh, by Camillus. And this is the Dale Evans uh, model. There you see Dale Evans. And uh, there you see his horse. See another cowboy there on the bottom. Very cool knife, guys. I'm proud to have this bad boy in my pocket, let me tell you. But uh, no complaints here. Really like it. 11 characters on this one. And the next thing we're going to do in a future video, in the near future, I don't know if maybe uh, probably next week sometime, we're going to compare the Rough Rider version of the Riders of the Silver Screen right along with the Camillus version. And let's check the materials. And we're going to see if the materials they use are the same or are they different. How many characters do they have? Do they have the same number of characters as Camillus or a different number of characters? What type of uh, artwork do they have? Is the Rough Rider version better or is it just as good as the Camillus? Do they have brass liners just like the, the Camillus version? Do they have acrylic handles? We shall see. We shall see. And I wanted to share this with you guys uh, because... You know, we all grew up watching TV shows, you know, and, and some of us were lucky enough to watch some of these TV shows with our parents or our dads. And, and growing up, you know, that's something that I did. I watched Zorro. I watched, uh, every once in a while, he'd be walking, watching a Gene Autry movie. And to me, it seemed like when I watched one of those movies with my dad that 
when they were riding the horse, it's like they rode around the same corner like 10 times throughout the movie, <laughs> you know? So to me, it seemed like it was just, uh, it was a little boring, but the shows I did enjoy with my dad were Zorro and The Lone Ranger with Tonto, right? So I really enjoyed that. Um, I don't know. Do you guys have some of those memories too? Some of those wonderful memories of watching television with your dad? Maybe wrestling? I don't know. I saw wrestling with my dad. I remember watching the Von Erichs too on the TV. In any case, I wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, these are out there and now the prices are a little bit more reasonable. Like I said, I got this one for 25 bucks. So y'all take care. God bless. Stay safe. And remember, stay sharp, my friends.